Welcome back everyone. It's October 10th and it's a hot one. I just got set up in the stand. Um, I'm overlooking a uh, rye field that we recently planted, but it's not doing too well. As most of you guys know, we've had a really big drought here in Pennsylvania, so the rye isn't really coming up, but there's some right along this, right along the hedgerow where I'm set up at that's shooting up pretty good in his green, and we've gotten some deer on it. And also there's a big, uh, big field adjoining this where deer go out on as well, but <clears throat> there's bedding to my south. Got food right here, so even with the warmer temperatures, we're hoping that the deer will still be up before dark, so I'm gonna shoot a buck or doe tonight. Stay tuned, guys. I knew she was quartering away, so I, so I kind of, I kind of aimed closer to the hind leg and hoping it would go up in. So I'm not quite sure exactly, exactly how good the shot is. I don't think it's terrible. My air was blinking down there right now. It went zip right through her. But I think she's down. I think she's down. 
first year of the 2020 season, baby. I'm pumped. I'm still gonna sit here and wait. I'm gonna review the shot, so we'll see. Meh. I just reviewed the shot and I think I smoked her. I was second guessing myself just talking to you guys right after I shot her, but after reviewing the footage, she was quartering like I thought and I kept the I kept the arrow back a little bit, so I think it's going right up in her. I think she smoked, so I don't think she should be far. So that's awesome, baby. She made a loud growl after I shot her too. My arrow's laying right down there. Probably gonna sneak out of here, and then we'll come back and start tracking her. So. I don't think she should be far, and that arrow zipped right through her, so I'm hoping she didn't run off too far. I just put my camera away, was about ready to send down my bow, and I thought I heard something behind me, and I look over, and a nice buck's coming, walked right by me. I mean, it wasn't big, it was small, but I could have smoked it so many times. I couldn't get the camera on it, though, because it was right there, so... Once it got out in the field, I got on him. So you guys saw him. It'll be nice in a couple years, but I sure got my heart pumping when I saw antlers coming in there through the woods, and there was another little one behind it, but I didn't get that one on film, just the bigger one. That's pretty cool. He's walking out farther now in the field. I'm going to get down, though. Slip right out of here quietly so then we can come back in here and track this doe. Well, the arrow looks good. Just got out here with the boys. I don't think she should be far, so we're gonna pick up the trail hopefully and not find her too far from here. All right, we see her right there. She didn't really bleed that much, but. Got her in the lungs. Oh, wow, that, that exit, I smoked her. Decent doe. Yeah, not huge, but definitely not a fawn either. Sweet. I gotta get her tag on her. Yeah, get her tagged she up. She ran about, how far up. do you think she ran? Probably like 80 yards. Yeah. She didn't but really there was just that much, no so blood. it took us a little bit longer than expected, but she piled up right you here. Hit her right in the opposite shoulder. Yeah, perfect. perfect. Bubbles coming out. I knew the way she was angling that I had to aim pretty back, pretty back far, so. We're going to get her tagged up and cleaned up. Well, it's a good thing we got her cleaned up and dragged out of there, because if you guys can hear, there's coyotes going absolutely nuts right now, but she only made it about 80 yards. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got a lot of things coming this fall, so make sure you subscribe below. Thanks for watching.